Good morning and welcome to Carnation Crafts. We are live from the Carnation Crafts TV studios, which is very exciting. You can find us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, please do remember to hit the subscribe button and it will give you notifications of when we are going live. We are with you today with the wonderful in white collection. It's so pretty and I haven't had a chance to do this because I was away when it launched. So Wheeler did it for us uh, and I haven't had the chance to play with it properly, which is very exciting for me to be here today. However, a little bit of housekeeping. I will just say that we will finish transmission a little bit earlier than normal this morning because obviously we want to respect the two minutes silence. So we will be kind of finishing up at about 10 to just to let you know. So, wonderful in white. This was launched about two, three weeks ago uh, on Create and Craft. The number for it is just as we start is 221014. The show price is $109.99 with free UK P&P. The original price was $154.93. Is there a code for it, Taz? Or is it the 10% on your newsletter? 10% on your newsletter. If you have your newsletter, it will give you a code for 10% off. Good morning, Soap Blue Green. How are you doing, gorgeous? Hey, Pam Lillington. How are you, lovely? Uh, thank you for joining us, by the way. It's always nice to have your company. Wonderful in White is the ultimate bridal collection. The reason that they brought this out is because, well, actually, it's probably not the reason they brought it out, but one of the great things about it is whenever we have the brides and grooms, everybody sort of turns around and says, well, it would be nicer if, you know, I've got dark hair or my partner's got a beard and it doesn't really look like them or it doesn't look like the person we're sending it to. So Nick was like, right, OK, let's make this accessible to everybody and we'll change everything up. And it's got that really beautiful kind of way of playing like we used to with paper dolls. You've got your double silhouette card shape. So this is your bride and your groom and you've got them in profile and front facing as well so we can work either way which is brilliant then we've got the love in lace which i love so much it's this gorgeous teardrop shape that's in um the the sort of lace kind of texture on the top for your filigree it's really really pretty next to that we have got take a seat which is your beautiful um kind of board what's the name for it at wedding when you go in taz they have like a table order don't they where yeah. you've got all the numbers and stuff so it's got all of that but actually i'm gonna say that i think that that easel is beautiful just in general i take it away from this collection I think that's just stunning on any card. Then we've got your tiara tags. They're beautiful to work with and we can create some gorgeous stuff with it. We have got your center of attention, which is the beautiful pieces, the jars. That's my favorite of all this collection. I love it so much. Then we have got your small favor. Sorry, I'm reading from the monitor there. Um, and that is your little jar with your little tag, which is really sweet. So that's your, like your wedding favours. And then next to it, you've got your something borrowed, something blue, which is a little medal with your blue um, ribbon around it. So it's all of the things that we need for your bridles. Um, Soph says her legs finally healing. That's amazing news. Beautiful Pam Simpson's here. We love you, Pam Simpson. Good morning. She says, good morning, Carla and Taz. Thanks for joining us, Pam. Pam is one of our spectacular DT members and incredibly talented. She is as well. So good morning, Pam. Right, so wonderful in white. We're going to have a look at some demos, but first we're going to have a look at the board. Like I say, just for anyone who's just joining us, this will be a shorter than normal broadcast because we will be stopping around 10 to just around there for the two minutes silence. Um, Sue says, morning, Carla. We'll be using this for my granddaughter's wedding next July. Her name is Lauren and she's marrying Kevin. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, and that's the thing, we can personalize it as well. So let's have a look at the boards. So this card shape, I think is spectacular. It's so pretty. Now I'm just gonna very quickly state that we also have new vignettes for the Nature in Motion collection. And the reason I'm talking about that is because it goes with this collection so well. A lot of the demos that we've got have got the mix and they brought the special vignettes out for Nature in Motion when they brought this out because the two parry so prettily together. The, um, the new vignettes will be on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk, uh, and you'll find them all sitting there for you. Taz, while you're there, what's the deal of the day today? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ooh, the Granny's Bonnet die set. 
me a likey me like that is that is cheap do you know that's really pretty that one as well it makes beautiful corners sorry taz i just wanted to go and explore fiona says good morning carla and taz hello are you okay fiona so going back to the boards this gorgeous card shape that we've got here which is so pretty and so versatile for doing so many things it's called tiara tags it's got your elements here for the tops of your cards it's also got your main tag shape this works beautifully as a card shape when we come on to the um love in lace it sits at the same size it it, it just works perfectly they're so pretty these cards to see that in its full shebang look at all the dies you're getting and look how beautifully it layers up. It's so pretty. Gorgeous for tags as well, obviously. Um, Pam said, they used to put a sixpence in the bride's shoe for luck. I had to find out why a sixpence was in the collection. They did, when I was supposed to get married a long, long time ago, and um, somebody gave me a silver sixpence uh, to put in my shoe. Um, and I had to give it back sadly because I never got married. That's a sad tale of my life. Uh, but it was a really exciting part of the, the, the sort of element of the, the wedding. Although I think it's probably quite uncomfortable. Um, then you've got your groom here. Isn't he handsome? So we've got a little stand for him if you want it. So you've got front facing and you've got the profile as well, which is just glorious to have because it means we can do so much with them. Now you can work with it as a full card shape. If I if I do this, where the outside die is and bring it round, you can see it works together. So we can make a base card like that. So this here doesn't have a cut line there. Do you see where I'm saying in the center? So it's one full piece. So you've got different ways of using it because you can obviously snip that and use them separately. Or uh, if you don't want to use the base card, then obviously you've got your mats and layers, which are separate as well. So it works perfectly. Um, then we've got your colorway for him. So this is where it comes in. So you've got his suit here. The glasses are optional. So is the beard and so is the hair, but I'll come to all of that in a second. You've got his lovely suit and like I say, you've got the stand for him. Then the same thing with the bride, but this time we start to see all of these elements as well. So you've got the glasses, you've got the different hairdos, you've got beards. There you go, there's a beard. And you've got different, so you've got different hairstyles for the men and for the women. You've got little moustache, you've got uh, different shapes of beards. There's so much going on with this collection. Gorgeous different hairstyles for the brides. So we get to make the bride up in different ways. Now, obviously, she appears to be bald on this, and that's because we add those hairstyles, depending on whether you want long hair, short hair, side parting, middle parting, tiaras, all of those things we get to play with, which is super cool. And there they are. Isn't she pretty? She's so lovely. And we get all the different hair colours, all the different things going through. You've got different buns that you can have. You can have ponytails. You can have those long flowing locks, all of them designed to be wedding hair. Uh, and then obviously the ones with the tiaras in as well. Then we've got the male aspect or the short female aspect as well uh, for all the different colorways. Every single bride and groom is also presented to you in different skin tones and it goes through the whole remit for skin tones as well. So pretty much we can nail it. Uh, it's It's whoever you're sending this to it will work it's perfect it's so clever uh, and it's a lot of fun to play with as well because you could get to sort of dress them up which is quite exciting then we've got love in lace look how pretty this is this is heartbreakingly pretty now what i will say to you about this one and this one as those bases they are brilliant for any card you make going forward any card so if you're doing an eight by eight, perfect to sit at the side, on either side, perfect to have it kind of going over the front as a front facing on your card, like a gatefold almost with them, perfect on its own, perfect with two to get, together to create a heart. It will sit on the side of so many cards. So for instance, if this was my base card with that at one side, I can then put that on the other side and have a different shaped card. So take this away from weddings altogether, just as a card base, this is going to expand your card making massively because it's the piece that we can add. It's so clever and so beautiful. And this I think is an absolute boon to own in your collection. If you're buying an individual today, that's the individual I would go for just because you're gonna be able to use it 
in a myriad of ways and that's what we like so that would be my shout out for you today uh, which is love in lace because there's everything in it we need to go forward and this as well same thing think of the card shapes you're going to be able to make with this think of how we're going to be able to use it it's got a similar feel to it for me for um oh god the collection that had the superman it my brain my brain with compliments, with compliments. it's got that similar kind of feel to it yes miss tis if they do want that by itself it's two two one zero one six two two one zero one six for this one on its own yeah. gotta tell you that's my big shout out for today if that if i was sitting and i could only afford one dyed, that's the one i'm going for because i'm going to use it a million times it's brilliant as is always with Carnation, and there is your beautiful colourway for it. So they even bring us vignettes for that. Even for that, we get vignettes. Just awesome. So there's your sixpence, there's your blue ribbon, and your little safety pin. So something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. So as Pam was saying, the sixpence would go in your shoe, uh, but if you had it like this, you would be able to safety pin that, I think, normally to a garter, wouldn't it? And uh, and that would be uh, hidden under the dress. Good morning, Christine. How you doing? Lovely. Um, she says, good morning, Carla, Taz and Mr. Mark. <laughs> Mr. Mark's the boss. He's the person we hide from. I love this. I love this so much. So now we start to see how this comes in with nature in motion. Those florals that all come through. Nature in Motion has got that similar tone to it, those similar florals to it. If you were watching the old and new, you saw me working with um, Nature in Motion florals on the phone boxes, and these are the florals I was working with. It was that piece that I used on the side of the phone box. So again, how we bring all of our collections together. So these are your components. I love, love, love this so much. I love the fact that I can make a card just out of that, that I can personalize it all. Um, and I can type on here, I can stamp on here, I can do all sorts with it to make it completely personal. Isn't it so pretty? I love easels anyway. Miss Taz will tell you I've got an easel downstairs. I love easels, there's something about them. This is gorgeous. So these are your favors. Uh, and you've got your little tag here, and then you've got your jar. Just so pretty. And we have wedding favours, don't we? Like the sugared almonds, things like that, and then the little jars that are now sort of all on trend. It's that Instagram feel to this, which I love because it just gives us a bit more play way. Um, uh, hey, Eileen. She said, I'm not purchasing today because I think I've spent too much, but just enjoying your company and watching the fab demos. Eileen, you are welcome massively. Hello. So then we go down and we've finally got this, and this is my favourite. I love that. I love it so much. Now, again, when we we're talking about with compliments, remember we had that log on with compliments. See how we're now starting to bring through. We see these things coming through in the collections that allow us to build together and everything works. But gosh, that's pretty. Those little candles sitting. We've got extra candles to add more to it as well. You could create so much drama around that by having that at the foreground of your card and elements behind it. It is ridiculously gorgeous. So that is your wonderful in white collection. It's just brilliant. Of course, it's brilliant. It's carnation. But to have that bride and groom where we can change everything and everybody is catered for is just perfect. So that is that. And I'm just going to move those boards because I do want to show you another thing that they've got, which I also think is extraordinary. Brilliant for wedding cards, but brilliant on their own. So, let me just have a look. Make sure I've got the right thing. Here we go. All right. I love these. I love these. Miss Taz, have you seen these? I have. They're so ace. These are your letters, which have got those gorgeous sort of faux bulbs in. Look at them. Look at those. Think of what we can make with those. Think about adding them to um, little food safe wooden sticks and use them as cake toppers. They are epic. I love them. And I love what I love with carnation vignettes because we can mirror vignettes. If you were to make these double sided and use them as cake toppers, you can hide them with the stick. Um, so they're just perfect. Gina says, why don't they have a man with a kilt? Well, predominantly, I guess it's because uh, they wouldn't be able to do absolutely everything in every style. So, uh, you know, we get comments saying, why don't they have a man in a white suit? Why don't they have 
you know, this, this and this. And I think there's obviously, there's got to be a certain limit to what they, they can produce. So they do as much as they can. And that's why we got all the different hairstyles that we've got, you know, all the different things and all the different skin tones. So I guess they were looking at, um, I suppose, what would pre predominantly be the most important as far as that's concerned. So that's why uh, I know we have lots of requests for loads of different things, but it, it has to be something that's collectively for the mass I suppose and that, that that can be changed so I hope that answers the question so that is your beautiful gorgeous big big letters but you also get them in smaller formation as well now I don't know if you can tell on here or not but I'm pretty sure pretty sure if my little eye tells me these have been cut on elevate and that is such a corking idea with the smaller ones all cut out on elevate so you've got that puffy dimension to them so they become like thick as uh, you, have you heard of thick as before where it's a sticker that is puffy and that's what these become when you cut them on elevate so really sweet um eileen says the table decoration die is exactly the same as the inspiration photo for my daughter that sent me for wedding decorations miss taz is nodding gorgeous right absolutely gorgeous love it and and wouldn't it be perfect for for all of that and i think weddings for table decorations when you have that little spray of gypsophilia they're so pretty so that's your smaller letters remember your elevate that's going to really bring them to life as you can see on here where you've just got that little element of dimension can you just see that they're just slightly thicker you see it there really pretty and then we've got the numbers to match along with your ampersand and your plus sign. Obviously for weddings, when you're saying bring a plus one, uh, this is where all of this comes in. They're so wonderful. I love them. So this is a completely separate set to Wonderful in White, but works perfectly with them. And the uh, number for that is 221022. It's called Name in Lights Collection because obviously you've got those uh, lights around them. Show price of 59.99. If you have got your 10% discount on your newsletter, please do use that code and it'll take 10% off, but free UK P and P. All of this can be purchased from the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.com. UK. So we have gone slightly uh, faster on the boards because we are going to be finishing slightly earlier for the two minute silent. Um, I'm just, Linda says, morning all late to join, but was finishing off a card for hubby to give to one of his colleagues who passed a HGV uh, driving license, such a driving test yesterday. It was an upside card last night. So I had to rectify this morning once the silicon had dried. We've all made those. Um, good morning, Carol Hart. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I've made many an upside down card. So many of them. It's something that we just do. Right, let's get to demo if that's okay with Miss Taz. And I'm just taking all of my elements out of a bag. Now, what we've got here, I'm just going to separate all of this out so you can see what I'm working with. That is just ridiculously pretty isn't it? Literally, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I am in love with that. I would like that on the centre of my dining table in real life. I think that is so sweet. I've got one of my little tags. I've got my bride. I've used some of those little numbers to put on my tags. I'm just showing you all of the elements. Nature in motion, different colourway. Grab your different colourways. And then I've got these here too, so that I can create some base at the side. So here's my card shape. Oh, oh, I've lost a piece of filigree. I'll have to move my bottom in a second and grab that. So what we're looking at is this bride and groom as she is just here. And you can see the shape that we've got. As soon as I place her on here and we've got that white background, See how that pops? That large outline that we've got is just gorgeous. Now I have choices with this. Now normally you will always see me cut out my piece twice and score at half an inch and use that as my card base. And I didn't this time because what I'm going to do with it is just fold it and score. And when she stands, she'll stand independently. OK, so I've got that element to it where I can just change it round. Now, I'm going to place her on here as she is. 
and I'm going to use some wet glue just to pin her down. But what I want to do is bring these in as side elements and it's just working out where I want to place them as a side panel. Now if I just place it out slightly so it's on an angle and it's behind her and do the same. I've lost the filigree from this. I'll bend down in a second and grab it and just place, okay? See how pretty that is with that love heart? The idea of the love heart going around her? I just think this collection is insane. Now, just bear with Miss Taz, hum. I've just got to bend down and grab this piece of filigree without falling off my chair. So just keep staring at the bride. Nothing's happening. We're all, I, look, have a look at that because it's just ridiculously pretty. Hold on, I am way too old to be bending over, guys. Way too old. I think I've brought myself out in a bit of a hot flush. I can't, I'm too old for the things. Right, now, if I take those away for a second, let's secure her first. Get some applicators. Applicators are gonna be your best friend with this because we're working with very, very fine filigree. Good morning, Linda Wilson from a very windy uh, Scotland. It was very windy here yesterday, so. Uh, whether it's moved up north or not, I don't know, but it was blowing a hoolie. Um, and I was trying to move boxes outside and nearly lost my wig, to be fair. Right, let's make sure I've got the right way. A little bit on here. Not much. But what I will do is just secure the corners of her dress and her shoulders just to make sure she stays where she is. Isn't she stunning? Look at that pop. She is so pretty. And just make sure that sticks. There she is. Same again on this one. So we've got all of that coming through. Right, let's get her to where she needs to be. Look at that. It's like a halo around her. She's so gorgeous. So what we get are her styles with this. And I'm hoping I can find the other one because at the minute I've only got one for some reason. Let's have a look. See how quickly that changes her and she just sort of gets how she should look. I'm hoping I can find my other side panel, otherwise I'm going to have one with and one without. But I'm not going to worry about it too much at the minute. When you're working with the hair, just make sure you get a little bit, especially if you're using this one on this piece as well. You don't want to just have that able to sort of flick up by accident you want to make sure it's secured it's not such a big issue at the bottom but certainly on that piece you need it my advice is to use tweezers but as we all know mine are a little bit um poorly my tweezers and just make sure she's sat properly and bring that hair forward isn't she pretty it's beautifully feminine Gorgeous, right? Really sweet. Now, I am going to find that other piece of hair in a second. I did drop a few bits, so I may have dropped it, but if I can't find it, we will rectify the situation somehow. Now, I've taken these and I've got my red liner on the bottom of the purple. And I'm just going to find my pokey and put these on the base layer. Now the reason that I'm using the color on this, and it's a very strong color, that purple, but it's very pretty, is because everything else is so pale. So the idea being that I can draw in color from the outside without detracting from the color on the inside. So place that down, take the filigree panel. Now this is where your applicators are absolutely golden because we are working in tiny spaces here. 
the applicators are on the Carnation website. Now, I often talk to you about the applicators and why I use these ones because they've got the longer fuzzy instead of that sort of little ball that you get on the end. And that's because if I'm using a piece of filigree and I want to put it on something like this, I can absolutely do so. You see how fine I can go with that, those tiny elements. So place this on. and draw it across. So I'm just choosing little areas that allow it to stick, but without overloading it with glue. And then I'll place that down. And man alive, that's pretty. That spray of color, it's gorgeous, right? And if I need to add more glue, I absolutely can. I'm just gonna let that settle itself a little bit before I move it around and just continue on with the other. Look at me being super fast with red liner tape, Miss Taz. It's almost like I do it a lot. Uh, and then we're just gonna place onto here. Same thing again, we're going in with that filigree point just little amounts of glue in optimum places. So I'm using the bigger areas where I can. Just small amounts. Whenever I'm using glue, the best way I can describe it is that I'm putting a layer of almost skin on there. That's the best way I can describe it because it's such a small amount that we need. So try and if you know, try not to leave a great big glob of glue and it will just help keep the end project neater. You can always add more if you need to. It's the taking it away that's the problem. So again, just allowing that to stick down, make sure this one's stuck as well, and it is. I love that so much. That on its own, isn't it? If you were to make a card with your base layer, think of having that all the way around, wouldn't that be beautiful? Just pretty, 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 really sweet. Now I've got options. What I can do, if I so chose, is to do exactly that, is to glue those two together and pop her there. The reason I don't is because I don't like that central piece, okay? And that's why I keep them separate because yes, it's got that sort of idea of a love heart, but to me, there's something disjointed that I would absolutely need to cover that up. It, I would not be comfortable with that. So it, it's just about where do you want your playway to be? Good morning, Leslie. Where do you want that playway to be? Do you want to separate it or not? It's up to you, it's personal choice. I would need to cover that center piece up if I was doing that. So I am more likely to just separate them slightly so that they can't be seen from the center point. It makes more sense to me visually. It just, to me, it makes more sense. So what I do want to do is make sure I've got them to a point where they are level if you like so that they're at the same height so I'm just playing with that and I don't want to interfere with that card sh folding either so again choices playways how are you going to make this balance how are you going to allow it to uh, sort of sit where you want it to sit and I'm quite happy with that there what I do know visually now is that I need my adhesive to be at this side and this side it, 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 anywhere else it's going to be a problem now I'm going to use pin flare uh, that's going to cause a, an added weight to it uh, but I will say that for me that's okay for demo if you're at home I'd probably be more likely to use some red liner or some finger to uh, lift even wet glue, I think, would be more appropriate. And that is just going to go straight onto my mat. So I'm just going to remove that from there. Let's make sure she's got some adhesion and make sure she sits at the bottom. Let's hope I've hit home with that. I might have put it on the wrong edge. Let's just see if I lift. Let me just pop some. 
and just on there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that purple colour coming through. Doesn't it just pop? Down there. And there. I think she's so beautiful. I think I I think there's part of me that's still a four-year-old that loves dressing up little paper dolls. Is it Bunty? Is it Bunty? That we used to do that with at home? I'm all of a dither with my pin flare, Miss Taz. So you can see how we're starting to build. We're starting to get uh, some really gorgeous imagery coming through. And the color at the back is there mainly to establish that color point. I do need to find her hair. That's going to drive me insane. Let me just make sure that dries off and that she's sticking. But I have just misplaced it for now. Now, what I'm going to start doing is bringing in those feminine aspects. It was Bunty. Thanks, Linda. I thought it was Bunty. We're going to bring in some feminine aspects to this, which we've got with those floral tones here. And we've got with the little vase, which I love. And also the date of the wedding, which we can just do and just slip behind. So we've got those little sweet points. So this I will do with a bit of pin flare, but I'm going to tuck it. And this is the joy of pin flare. I can still move that and I'm going to put it out almost as a central point. And I'm going to match that up at the other side. And I think that's so cute for somebody's wedding day because what a lovely keepsake to have that date sit in there with those really lovely numbers. Make sure I've got that roughly straight. I'm using the monitor. Just pull that so you can see the date. There you go. 14th of December, 2022. Why did I pick that date? I have got no clue. Okay. So my base is ready. I know fundamentally I have got everything that I need in order for this to be what I want. Now, again, I've got options. I can put the flower here, which I really do love. The, I've got a problem with it though. If I was, I'd probably put it the other way around, but if I was to put this flower here, the issue that I've got with it is because I've done my card as a bend, so it's supposed to, you know, the, the two brides come together, so to speak. So if I pull that and that, the problem that I've got is when I do that, obviously it's going to displace my floral. And so that won't work. So what I straight away start doing is this. Okay, that's how I want my card to stand. So where do I want my floral? Well, my obvious point is her dress because the dress at the bottom here is longer. I've got a long aspect here. So I can use that just as a corner piece. So it's as if it's her dress that is decorated. I can bring it out as a corner here and have that flourish going forward. Now, if I was to just place that there, visually I've got a problem. Everything is now balanced this way. And if it's all balanced that way, it kind of looks like she's gonna fall over. So I've got to balance it out at the other side. And the way I'm going to do that then is to add in a floral at this side. Super pretty. It's just my favorite thing there at the minute. I love it so much. So that's where I'm going to play with that. And I'm just going to bring those florals in. Okay, pin flare this up. I'm not going to shape it out because we've got not much time and I do want to try and get one more quick demo in and I will be quick on it. Uh, but I prefer to do two if I can and we may have to cut it short. We will obviously not be going anywhere near the 11 o'clock mark this morning. Place those florals in, that pin flare to lift to give that shadow play at the back, and it all comes together. Now, obviously, I am missing her hairdo. It'll be on the floor down here somewhere. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much because I do want to do another demo, but isn't that so pretty, how it stands and how it is beautiful? I don't know if that's just going to slip with that pin flare, but it's just beyond pretty. All of these playways that we've got with this collection are ridiculous. The fact that we can change that bride and groom so much, or the bride and groom so much with the hairstyles, everything else that they can put in place. The fact that we have that at our fingertips is such a powerful thing for all of your wedding cards going forward for the rest of your craft journey, for the rest of your life. 
because you will never ever be short of a bride and groom that you can use regardless skin tone regardless of facial hair regardless of hairstyles it's all there and it's all going to take you through literally for the next 50 years because you're going to be able to use it again and again and i really think that's important because like you at home i don't want to spend my money on one trick ponies if i can change it a million times never going to have a problem making another one so that's that i'm going to really super super fast just show you a couple of finished samples and then after those, I'm going to get straight on, hopefully, with another demo, just a very brief demo. Look at that, with the sixpence hanging down. You're pretty. I'm being quick with this. So this is more of a fairy tale idea, which I love. Isn't it sweet? Nature in motion. Nature in motion. Remember your nude vignettes. Then the typewritten one. Charles and Kaylee, welcome to our wedding gorgeous skin tones coming through choosing whether to use glasses the tiara hairstyle all of the options that we've got going through nature in motion all of the florals from nature in motion and then that which is just gorgeous completely different same bride same groom completely different by using just different colorways everything that we do i love this golden wedding anniversary take it away from weddings we've now got anniversaries something completely different for us to play with beautiful use of the florals on that one isn't that just so pretty the wedding of mark and selena just that bride and then we reveal that's something extraordinarily special acetate all those florals, look at the depth on that. Just the acetate. And we played with acetate the other day. Acetate's a massively powerful tool. I love that. And again with acetate here. Let me just, this is so clever, this one. Let's pull that forward. So you've got those two boxes. Look at that. Acetate, always your best friend. So you've got that depth inside the card. Let me just pull it that way. You've got the two boxes. That you push there you see the card shape and then the layers on the inside special really special right very quick final demo i don't want to leave you just one demo because i haven't had a chance to play with this collection and i loves it so let me just have a run through which one shall we do miss taz we'll do this one i'll do a smaller card so this isn't using the card shapes it does bring in those new vignettes from wonderful in white and it is a quick demo but it's just to show you some colorways you've got your two panels now i have used in nature in motion they've got these gorgeous uh, nested dies which have got um birch tree shapes on them and this is what this is i've got all pin flare all over the place miss taz one day i'll be a grown-up I don't think that's ever going to happen. Let me just place. And Miss Taz and I, you'll all be pleased to know, Miss Taz and I, I don't actually know if you will be pleased to know, are going to have a lovely little night tonight for Miss Taz's birthday, which was yesterday. Yeah. And we've got Miss Taz's other friend coming, and we're going to have a lovely, lovely little evening. I've got some grease marks on that because I've got a uh, pin flare on my fingers. I do apologise. Now, I haven't used a matte and layer with this. All I've done is used a single layer. I will be covering all of that grease mark up so we won't worry too much. But I've just used a single layer on this piece. Why have I done that? Because sometimes using just one matte makes it pop even more. We don't mute the color with another color behind it. So sometimes if you want to create your central stage, just one matte, but with a bigger edge than you would normally have, will create a tonal pop of color. Uh, and it's just a different way of kind of manipulating color to bring out everything else in your collections. I was playing with these the other day. I honestly, these just please me no end. There's something about them. What I'm going to do here is create a backdrop. Oh, isn't that pretty? So, 
you see, I've got so used to talking to you all, you guys, I feel like you were here with me. So I start asking you questions and yeah, you can't answer. I can't hear you. So little bits of wet glue. Now, while I'm doing this, because we are going to run out of time, I do just want to tell you all, I will be on Create and Craft on Sunday night and on Monday morning. And I will be with you on a Facebook Live on Saturday at 2 p.m. because guys, we've got a really gorgeous USB coming out. It is awesome and you are going to love it. I'm not gonna tell you any more about it because that will be on the Facebook Live. And that's on Saturday at 2 p.m. The show's on Sunday, I can't remember the times. I think it's 6 p.m. for the first one. Uh, but I'll double check and make sure I know that for the Facebook Live. And we've got a super exciting new USB. I love USBs. Right, I've created my backdrop. Already that is really dramatic really super dramatic. Now all I'm going to do is bring in some extra elements here. So I've got my florals, I've got some tuckins, and I've got some extra little flower tuckins there as well. And it's just going to be really, really simple, but watch how the colours all play together. Place this one in. Place it at the bottom so I'm covering my work in. That to me is messy. I don't want to leave it open. I like to cover up those things. It's not necessary. It's crafter's choice, but I don't like it showing. So I'm going to cover it with that gorgeous floral. And I've got that lifted on high foam tape. So I've got that beautiful dimension coming out. Really pretty. My showstopper on this piece is going to be this and the floral below it. So I'm joining the two. And I'm just going to place that in the center, just underneath. See how I've only got foam tape just on the bottom, so that is completely free. And it will create that shadow and that drama and it creates that dimension. Going in for a little bit of symmetry and just to add a little bit of a backdrop and just mute out that color a little bit more, just to tuck that below on that side. Same again on the other. So we're raising the foliage from this bouquet. A little bit here. Place it down. If I can just get that tucked. There we go. And then just to knock out a little bit of that heavy green, because obviously there's a lot going on with the green, I just need to tone it with these little florals that are gonna sit and just bring that color back. Now, what I don't want those florals to do is interfere with my little vase. Miss Taz just hurt herself. So I make sure it's tucked back and that it's springing outwards so that it doesn't interfere with the main focus point, which is the jar in front, okay? So we are adding color, but we're spanning it outwards. This is a two second card. It's easy to make, and it is ridiculously pretty. Tucking again, just placing them so they fan outwards. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Now, if I raise that just slightly so that you can see the dimension, isn't that gorgeous? Miss Taz, could I possibly borrow a front face in? Is that okay? Look how pretty that is. All of that dimension that we see. Gorgeous, right? I think the nature and motion collection, the way they've recolored these, 
regardless if you're doing it for wedding cards or if you're just using it in general. I think the new colours for the Nature in Motion collection on their new um, vignettes that they did are just... They're very feminine, but they're also they're, they're gorgeous, cool tones. And sometimes we need to use cool tones in florals. Often our florals are very, very bright, aren't they? But if we can just cool those slightly into the more blue and pink tones that we see here, that are sort of those frosted colors, it adds something to it where it's not quite so, uh, what's the word? In your face, I suppose. They're much more gentle. They're, they're just very pretty. So I absolutely love them. I think they're gorgeous. Uh, I don't know what, did we say there was a number for the vignettes? I can't remember what they were, but um, the vignettes will be on the website uh, and you'll be able to go and grab them. So just go to uh, downloads, free downloads, uh, or and type in the collection. It'll still come up if you do it on that. So type in Nature in Motion. It'll have a brand new set of vignettes, a different colorway for you. And I know they're on the website. If you're using your site-wide uh, site discount, You'll actually get the 10% off those as well, I believe. Uh, and that'll be the newsletter discount code that you get. And so you'd get 10%, I think, off those. I'm not going to say that categorically because I don't know the rules, but I think so. Yes, Miss Taz is pointing at me. 222. 222. 977. 222-977. And that is the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. I am very aware of the time. Um, so I'm going to love you and leave you because obviously today is a very, very important day. So massive thank you from Carnation and from myself and from Miss Taz, both to you, but also to those of you, uh, those of us, those of uh, that served for us and served for our country because those things are incredibly important to recognise. Massive, massive love to you all. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Saturday with a Facebook Live. I'll see you on Sunday on Create and Craft. Take care till then.